No, I'm not Tweety Bird. I wish I was. Did meet a Tweety Bird at uh, Movie World though. <laughs> That's close enough. Theme parks. Awesome, heart attack inducing places. Fun times. In yet another lecture, it's been brought to our attention the competitive nature of the theme park industry. Wait, how is it so competitive? I mean, they're all awesome. But as two Rotterdam University students pointed out in an article for Sage Journals, uh, fans are after the feeling of being totally immersed in another world. In an analytical article for um, Emerald Insight, it was found that the variety of parks, sections, and um, themes is the most common strategy for um, to cater for their customers. An example of this would be the VIP pass to Dream World, White World of World, and Movie World. Obviously, the strategy works with Ibis World reporting a 10% increase in revenue in 2014. Um, although revenue has declined again since due to a higher operating costs and more frequent discounts, um, it is predicted from current trends that this will pick up again in the um, years to come. How are they going to do this though? Disney World is already working on a way of reducing those pesky waiting lines. In an article for The Economist, um, Disney World are reportedly in the process of implementing the use of wristbands in place of the ticket system. Such wristbands would also be used to check in and out of hotel rooms, order food, get on to rides quicker, and even receiving photos. According to their official website, even Dreamworld is getting on board with uh, virtual reality with the opening of their new corroboree experience. I personally am very excited to see what the theme park industry has in store for us. And I definitely can't wait to someday be immersed in the world of Harry Potter. That's it for me. Thanks for watching.